welcome to our channel DJ Tales and Trills. I am Dia and here is Jeet. It's the weekend and we are out again to explore a new place. Uh, this time we are going to the Big Banyan Vineyards which is about um, a 1 hour 30 minutes drive from uh, the city centre in Bangalore. It's a little towards the outskirts of the city. So we thought of exploring the place. We've been thinking of going there for a while now but uh, this, this weekend we just thought of going for it. Uh, we have booked a day tour there where uh, they take you around the entire vineyard to show the entire wine making process and uh, how everything is done from farm to bottle. So yeah, we're really excited to uh, explore that and do some wine tasting followed by um, a lunch buffet at the ranch which is their uh, restaurant. So yeah, we'll take you around, we'll show you how the place is and uh, give you our reviews so that if you are around and if you want to explore the place, you can always head there. So yeah, stay tuned. The vineyard is located near Bangalore's famous 400 year old banyan tree covering almost over a hectare of land with a very scenic backdrop. The company has their vineyards in Goa and Bangalore and produces a wide range of wines including red, white, rosé and sparkling wines. Apart from producing wines, they also offer wine tours and tastings and operates a restaurant that serves gourmet food along with a variety of wines. From March to May, the vineyard offers the visitors an opportunity to pick grapes by hand along with the tour wine making process and tasting. So we are already here. Uh, unfortunately, we got a little late. We reached around 11.20. So we will be going for the 12 o'clock one. Uh, but this place is just amazing, extremely beautiful, scenic and very calm. Uh, and also it's pet friendly because I see a couple of dogs here as well. So if you have a pet, this could be a perfect destination for you guys to come. But yes, this is a wonderful place. I'll just give you a quick view of this. a glass of wine would tell, if only it could speak. It would tell you about the time when it was a mere tiny grape. On the way to the farm is the restaurant called The Ranch, where we came back later for our lunch. The tour of the vineyard includes a tour of the farm and the manufacturing and bottling unit followed by the wine tasting. This is covered over an hour and they have slots starting from 10 am to 5 pm. The place is quite massive and very well maintained.
they also provide the option of booking cottages in case you want to spend a night there the decor of the wine tasting room was quite aesthetic where we tasted some of the wines which they made They also had a store inside where we could buy the wine bottles. We did some wine tasting, we had the wine tour and then we ended up buying all these bottles that you see in Jeet's hands. It was so good. We had some white wine, some red wine, some rosé and each of them tasted really good. Um you know we were in in fact even talking to uh, the person who was doing the tasting and uh, you know we were really intrigued because it tasted very different from uh, the wines that we buy on the in the store. Um so he explained that um, you know sometimes because it's stored for long in the stores it gets um, you know probably because of the heat or the temperatures there the taste might differ and here it's the freshest batch so you know the taste really is very enhanced and you get the purest form of wine probably we really enjoyed the tasting i think you should definitely visit this vineyard once uh to taste the wines to buy the different varieties we got our hands full and we are definitely going to enjoy now we are going towards the restaurant which is the ranch we have also booked a buffet a uh, lunch there uh, the place looks really good The lunch spread had a wide variety of vegetarian and non-vegetarian options which included live grill counters, coastal and continental dishes, desserts etc. The quality and the taste of every dish was quite impressive. day well spent today at the vineyard the lunch was really good they had a buffet spread mostly indian and you know some continental they had some live counters for grills and pastas and all of that the desserts were also quite decent um we overall enjoyed the food quite a bit and it was uh, really a good day today now we are heading back uh, it's almost 3:30 we came here around 11:15 11:20 uh very tired it's pretty sunny today as well but yeah enjoyed the lunch thoroughly enjoyed the tour the vineyard tour the wine tasting all of that thoroughly so yeah a wonderful day going back now we'll go back and probably take some rest and then watch some series <laughs> We had a long and tiring day, but definitely a day really well spent. Um, 
we definitely recommend this place to all of you who are uh, in Bangalore or traveling to Bangalore because it's just about an hour and a half drive and you know you get to enjoy the day have a nice brunch do the wine tour wine tasting all of that and um, to give you a, a brief idea on the costing um, there are a uh, couple of packages that you can choose from uh, in the wine tour and tasting so there is um, one which includes only the wine tour uh, of the farm and how it's made and the bottling and all of that so for that it's about 450 rupees per head and that does not include the wine tasting uh, they have another package which includes the wine tasting along with the wine tour that is about 1200 to 1250 rupees per head that's the one that uh, we had taken and um, I think if, if you enjoy drinking wine um, it's an experience worth having you can definitely um, you know spend that to uh, experience the whole wine tasting uh, thing because uh, you you get to taste the different varieties of wine the white wine red wine rose wine all of it and uh, then you have the buffet which is uh, which costs about 1700 rupees per head inclusive of taxes and uh, there again they have uh, uh, two options one is only food which is 1700 and the other is uh, with alcohol they have a different package which is a little higher so uh, yeah i think uh, that is also pretty worth it in terms of price because the spread was quite good and the food was delicious you know whatever they had in the menu in terms of quality in terms of taste i think uh, it, it was pretty decent um, so yeah, I think uh, the overall cost is, um, you, know, you know, I would say uh, quite well priced and uh, definitely, um, uh, you know, you can go for it and visit it once because I think if we go out for a brunch with friends and family and all of that, we end up spending this much. So um, here, you know, you get to spend the whole day experience all the things that they have to offer and the place is also quite beautiful you can stroll around have a nice time it's pet friendly you can take your friend you can take your pets and um, you know even even if you are taking your kids along there is a lot of play areas around where they can have fun and chill so yeah it, it's it's a good place to hang out thank you for watching the video if you are enjoying our content Please like the video and it would mean a lot to us if you subscribe to our channel as it would support us in bringing to you more such videos in the coming days and please don't forget to also share it with your loved ones. Thank you once again. Stay tuned for our next one. Take care till then. Bye.